Okay, in this video we're going to check out replacing the anode rod in your RV hot water heater. Uh, this is something that a lot of people skip on, but it's a good regular maintenance idea. Um, you're going to want to locate this panel on the side of your RV. They're usually either white or black like this. Pretty easy to find just based on this grill and stuff. Um, I'm going to open it up, set the cover aside. Now you want to make sure that your hot water heater is off for this um, because you don't want to have it on and have your electric element possibly burn out so we're gonna go ahead and flip that off right there the other option is gas which is currently off as well um, these are the anode rods right here the sacrificial metal that goes inside i bought these on amazon i think the two pack was like 20 something dollars um, very cheap so i'm gonna run since i forgot grab a socket for this and a wrench and we're gonna take that out okay i went and located my big set of sockets because this is a big sucker uh, we're gonna use a inch and a sixteenth socket on this um, you can see mine is quite corroded that's from the previous owners when we got this the tank water tank Probably had never been changed out. Um, what's gonna happen though? I'm gonna break the seal on this now. We're gonna get a lot of water out of here. You can start to see some stuff seeping out right now. And my goal is to pull that one out real quickly. And then I'm going to slap this new one in. Um, these on that one, I had put like a little bit of thread sealant. This came from Amazon with that thread sealant already on there. So, let me back the camera up a little. Oh, okay. Apparently, there's still a lot of pressure in there, even though it was off for a while. And we'll put the new rod in there. I think we got it started. That got me wet. Nope, That our threads are not great on this hot water heater. I'm thinking that somebody just never did it before. We got it. So it seems like we're threaded in there, right? And torque down. Simple as that. Now to show you what happens with this rod now that I've got weeds all over it. This one's only maybe a year old. We went full time in May of last year. It's currently the last week of March the following year. So in a year, that's what has happened to that rod. And it's such a cheap item. If it was the water wasn't destroying this rod, it would be destroying the inside of your hot water heater. Um, now something else that some people recommend when you pull it like I just did is to let all the water drain out. Um, we'll do that when we get back to North Dakota this year. Um, I'll probably do that, but just for now I wanted to replace the rod since I had the spare set here. And look at that, you can keep the spare rod right in there. We'll fill it back up, we'll turn the water back on. You want to make sure that your hot water heater is completely full before you turn the electricity back onto it because you'll burn the element out otherwise. 
Um, so I'm just going to open my hot outdoor shower here for a little bit. Looks like water. Okay. Put the water heater back on. And that's it. It's replacing the anode rod in your RV hot water heater.